When you go to a doctor and you're sick, what do they do? They take your blood, they check your blood work. How do you know what's going on inside of the body of a whale in real time? If you biopsy an animal, which is stick a dart into it and take a piece of skin, all you're actually getting is the tissue, the almost historical evidence. So how can we collect the evidence of what's going on in the body of the animal right now? The animal is blowing out all of this priceless information from DNA to the sex of the animal, to whether the animal's pregnant, whether the animal's stressed. I mean, it's just amazing, the microbiomes if you're sick, actually some of the viruses that maybe are positive to your system can run rampant because your immune system is down. The whole biology of the animal just from the exhaled breath condensate and it's safer, quieter, less invasive for the animal. And guess what? It's safer for the scientist. These bubbles are a remarkable tool. The whale will percolate bubbles from its blowhole in a very goal-directed fashion. And they're essentially purse net singing. The bubbles rise and effervesce and form a very competent cylinder for trapping the prey. With the whale coming up underneath it, opening their tremendous mouth and engulfing the prey and pushing it up against the surface. Right now we have Snotbot, which is collecting that exhaled breath condensate and all the biological matter. We're in the process of developing Earbot. This is almost like a mobile hydrophone that you can fly to a location, land in the water, and then it will transmit information back. We're also very interested in night vision. What are whales doing at night? It is such an incredible privilege to be in this massive herd of humpback whales. And I guess we know that our, our, our efforts are paying off and our vision and our hopes are when whales start to recover the world over. This population here has been showing remarkable recovery. And in fact, humpback whales over much of planet Earth are showing this incredible surging recovery. And that's fantastic, right? Because it shows that you know, it wasn't just one individual or one nation, but it was an entire global community that got together and said, wow, these animals are incredible, they're worth saving. Let's work together and see if we can't protect these animals. There's really a strong feeling that, that this is how it should be, you know, this level of biomass out here, this level of productivity, this number of whales. This is how it should be all around the world. And we're really hoping that, you know, this technology, Snotbot, and the, the methodology around it, allows us to begin to work towards that again.